Hey, welcome back to Video Star 07 Garage. Today we're going to talk about something. I want to make just a quick little video, a little primer on leaf springs, and uh, specifically what makes a good leaf spring setup, and what makes a hard riding one. And uh, I just and the reason for this is I just got a uh, another pair of uh, leaf springs for the back of this. I've already replaced the front ones. Uh, previously with uh, and these are uh, oh, Skyjacker uh, springs and uh, it's about a four and a half inch lift and you can see it's got a pretty good arc to it there but uh, what makes it ride good and what makes it makes them ride hard is the uh, what's called a military wrap and if you look you can see how on that one there's space between the uh, where the uh, wrap is on the top of that and the reason for that is so that the leaves can move independently of each other instead of being like these that I've got that were on here previously make it ride like a like a buckboard you can see how the uh, wrap is uh, tightly wrapped around the leaves there and the thing rode pretty stiff. You see my big old shackles there. It gives about another inch or so of uh, a lift and so I got about five, five and a half inches of lift on this thing. But anyway there's your Skyjacker springs and there's the difference between a good riding spring and a bad riding spring. And again if you have any questions, comments, anything you want to say uh, subscribe, ask questions, comment, and that's all for today. Alright, see you later.